Upgrade Welcome. This is the introduction to creating virtual machines and networks using VirtualBox. Uh, in this course we're going to build a multi-server virtual environment to enable us to create virtual environments that mimic real-world production environments. The environment we are building can be used for other software implementations in the Microsoft stack. You can also put uh, Linux or Unix uh, operating systems on the same deal. The networking will work the same regardless. So if you're working in the Microsoft stack, this will enable you to build a SQL Server, SharePoint Server, or Dynamics 365 uh, CRM for training purposes. This course assumes that you have a passion for development and you want to be able to learn by controlling all aspects of the environment you're working in. Most companies do not have multiple independent sandboxes for use by a developer, much less want to give you access to create and destroy them at will. So we're going to build a virtual machine, a template, then we're going to clone it, and then create a new Active Directory domain to join other virtual servers to it in this course. We're going to use VirtualBox, which is a free virtualization product from the good folks over at Oracle and you can download that across the web at https www.virtualbox.org we assume that you're running Windows 10 Enterprise on your desktop uh, you can be running Enterprise Pro or Education versions and that you have administrative rights to your computer which is referred to as the host computer you will need a computer with sufficient memory around 8 gigabytes minimum uh, 16 gigabyte is better you also need a CPU that has a 64-bit processor with second level address translation. You need support for a VM monitor mode extension uh, on Intel CPUs that would be VT-C. Uh, your VMs are going to be very disk intensive. My last VM for Dynamics CRM 2016 took me around 75 gigabytes in the main file. Your machine also has to support virtualization in the BIOS most modern machines do. At any rate, let's get started. 